maybe guy. We are here to witness and celebrate the marriage of David, Brendan, Paul Mudge and Cinta Wiley Hodegal. We gather in the presence of God and surround them with prayer as we share in their joy. Today as David and Cinta commit their lives in love to each other, let us commit ourselves to love and support them and to celebrate God's love for us all. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And while we're all standing we're going to sing our first hymn for our service, Amazing Grace. Gracious God, your generous love surrounds us 
and everything we enjoy comes from you. In your great love, you have given us the gift of marriage. Bless David and Sinta as they pledge their lives to each other, that their love may continue to grow and be the true reflection of your love for us all. God of mercy, you are the giver of life and the bringer of joy. In body, mind and soul, you heal us and make us new. We confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart and we have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. And for those times when we have failed in our relationships and broken our commitments, we ask your forgiveness. May the God of love heal and strengthen us as you deepen our love for one another and renew our lives through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Folks, marriage is a gift of God and a means of grace. In the lifelong union of marriage, we can know the joy of God in whose image we are made. Marriage is founded in God's loving nature and in the covenant of love made with us in Christ. Two people, in giving themselves to each other in love, reflect the love of Christ okay. for his church. <laughs> in Christian marriage, couples are called to live together faithfully and to love each other with respect, with tenderness and with delight. The companionship and comfort of marriage enables a full expression of physical love. As they share the life of a home, they may be entrusted with the gift and care of children. And they help to shape a society in which human dignity and happiness may flourish and abound. Marriage is a way of life that all people should honour, and it is not to be entered into lightly or selfishly, but responsibly and in the love of God. David and Sinta are now to begin this way of life that God has created and Christ has blessed. Therefore, on this their wedding day, we pray that they may fulfill God's purpose for the whole of their lives. And now Craig is going to come and, uh, and share a reading for it with us. Thank you, Craig. Let us pray. God, as your spirit abounds in this place, may there be more of you and less of me in the things that I say. And may the love that we have just read about, may that flow through us and around us and fill our lives. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Folks, that passage that Craig just read for us is probably best known as the wedding passage. I can't remember how many weddings I've presided at, but uh, that is by far and away the most popular passage that people like to share on occasions such as this. And it's a beautiful description of this word love. But let's be honest, we use the word love in many different contexts and in many different ways in the English language. I can say, I love my wife. I can say, I love my pet poodle. I can say, I love the North Queensland Cowboys. I can say, I love ice cream. I'm talking about very different things when I say the word love in those different ways. In the Greek language of the New Testament, where that passage was first written, there are three different words that we translate into love in English. And I'm looking around this room today and I'm sure there's many people here who speak more than one language. And you will know that going from one language to another, um, often words don't always directly line up. So the Greek language of the New Testament, there are three different words and I want to briefly talk about each one of those words because when we translate it into English in our Bible, it just says the word love. The first word that I want to talk about is the word eros. It's the word we get erotic from. It's the word that gives us goosebumps when we think about how much we love our partner. It's uh, the word of, that describes the sexual attraction that we might have. It's a wonderful word. It's exciting. It's, it's thrilling. It's fantastic. And it's hard to imagine for David and Sinta, but there will come a day, Sinta, where you're going to look across the pillow at David, and he's not going to be the strapping, 
handsome young man that he is today. <laughs> I'll be better. Then looking. He'll be snoring and <laughs> dribble coming out of his mouth. And there'll be more hair coming out of his ears on the top of his head. And you'll be thinking, well, maybe the Eros isn't as strong as it once was. And David, I know it's going to be hard to imagine that one day you may look across a pillow at Cinta and she may not be the beautiful bride that she is today. We all grow old and at times Eros can wane. If a marriage is built on Eros, it will not last. It'll be exciting and wonderful, but it, it will not last. There's another word that's in the Greek New Testament that we translate to love. It's the word phileo. It's the word that describes that deep, long and lasting friendship. It's the sort of love that describes the fact that we love spending time with another person. And it may be that you enjoy watching the football together or doing the dishes together or walking hand in hand along a beach. Love doesn't, if phileo love doesn't have to be between uh, marriage partners, it can be that lifelong friendship that you have with another person. But I hate to say it, there may come a day when you have an argument. I know it's hard to imagine. <laughs> there may come a day when you particularly don't enjoy one another's company because Cinta David hasn't picked up his underwear off the floor or, <laughs> or you know, Cinta is um, upset about something you've done, David, and perhaps you need a bit of time out from one another. And that's all good and healthy, but that's not phileo. If a marriage is based entirely on phileo, it, it will not last. There's a third word. It's the word agape. It's the word best understood as sacrificial love. It's the sort of love that a parent has for their child when they get up at two in the morning to change a nappy. There's no eros or phileo happening at that point, but it's love nonetheless. It's the sort of love that is the word that is used in that very famous verse that we read every Anzac day, no greater love has anyone that they would lay down their life for another. Agape is the word for love that was in that passage that Craig read for us. It's a sort of love that never fails. But if a marriage love is only agape, then it's more a partnership based on duty and responsibility than it is on the, the passion and the excitement and the friendship that you experience today. The sort of love that a wedding and a marriage celebrates is all three together. Eros, Phileo, Agape. When those three loves are bound together in a relationship, it's a witness to us all about the covenant of love that we find as God's gift to us all. And that's why we're here, to celebrate that love. And I pray that that love will be the love that binds your your relationship for the rest of your lives. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for the gift of Eros and Phileo and Agape. And thank you that these three loves are bound in the lives of David and Cinta. And help us as their friends and family, as we celebrate their relationship, to support them in the commitments that they have made today for the rest of their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, folks, this is the bit we've been waiting for. Come down the front. <laughs> I'll get you to come around here and, and face David and... Stephanie, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Every now and then I'm just going to ask him to move so you have to sort the dress out. <laughs> David and Cinta, do you believe that God has blessed and guided you and today calls you into marriage? I do. I do. David, will you give yourself to Cinta to be her husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage. Will you love her and comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. And Cinta, will you give yourself to David to be his wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage, 
Will you love him and comfort him, honour and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. I will. Either one's good. <laughs> and Paul and Deborah, where are you? Would you like to stand up, please? Paul and Deborah, do you give your blessing to David and Cinta and promise to support them in their marriage? And Mark is here representing uh, Cinta's family. Um, Mark, do you, on behalf of Cinta's family, who cannot be with us today, give your blessing to David and Cinta and promise to support them in their marriage? I do. And will you, the family and friends of David and Cinta who are here today, who have come to share this wonderful occasion, will you give them your blessing and support? Yes. There we go. Thank, thank you. Please be seated. Let's pray. Gracious God, you are always faithful in your love for us. Look mercifully upon David and Cinta who have come seeking your blessing. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon them so that with steadfast love they may honour the promises they have made this day. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. I, David, in the presence of God, take you, Cinta, to be my marriage wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. I, Sinta, in the person of God, take you, David, to be my marriage husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in the health, to love and to cherish as long as we both share, so live. This is my solemn hope. And Ben, if you could bring the rings forward, please. Thank you. I'll just pray a blessing first. God of steadfast love, by your blessing, let these rings be to David and Cinta a symbol of the vows that they have made here today. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Cinta, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage and all the vows that we have made today. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage and of the fall that we have made today. Push it. That's right. Yeah. Looks good. Before God and the presence of us all, David and Cinta have made their solemn vows. They have confirmed their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I therefore proclaim that they are now married. Those whom God has joined together, no one must separate. Eternal God, without your grace, no promise is sure. Strengthen David and Cinta with patience, kindness, gentleness, and all other gifts of the Holy Spirit, so that they may fulfill the vows that they have made. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their joys and in their sorrows. And finally, in your mercy, bring them with all your saints to their heavenly home. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
the bit we've all been waiting for. Dave yeah. and Cinta, your first kiss as husband and wife. Oh, we hope. Do we get enough photos? We're good. Again? Oh, I don't mind again. <laughs> come up, come up here on the platform. David and Cinta are going to light a special wedding candle. So we both. I'll take this one and light it. Now you go and get yours if you and light it. And now we light this together. Mm -hmm. Yep. Go. Put down. Yep. As you light this candle together, may it be a sign of God's love that is with you eternally. And on your wedding anniversary, I would encourage you to light the candle once more. Let us pray. All grace comes from you, O oh God, the source of life and love. Bless your servants, David and Cynthia, that they may faithfully live together to the end of their lives. May they be patient and gentle, ready to trust each other and to face together the challenge of the future. Be with them in all their happiness and strengthen them in every time of trouble. Give David and Cynthia grace when they hurt each other, to acknowledge their fault, to ask each other's forgiveness and to know your mercy and love. May your peace dwell in their home and be a sign of the hope for peace in the world. May their home be a place of peace and love, warm and welcoming to others. Through loving one another in Christ, may they be strengthened to love Christ in their neighbour. May they be creative in their daily work and find fulfilment in the life of their community. May David and Cinta enjoy the gift and heritage of children and may they be wise and loving parents. Grant David and Cinta grace to share their love and faith that they may grow together as a loving family. And bless the parents and families of David and Cinta that they may be united in love and friendship. And may all who have witnessed these vows today find their lives strengthened and their relationships and commitments renewed. We ask these prayers in the name of Christ our Lord who taught us to pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Folks, I get you all to stand as we sing our second hymn for our service, The Power of Your Love. of your love as you live in me. 
me Lord renew my mind as your will unfolds in my life in living every day in the power of your love hold me close let your love surround me bring me near draw me to your side and as i wait i'll rise up like the eagle and i will soar with you your spirit leads me on in the power of your love